It's filming? Wow. Are we ready? Hey everybody. Oh, I wanted to do this. I'll make a new sign every episode. Episode two. I sit nice and straight for this. I feel like a news anchor. My birthday is April 7th. It's April 4th, I think. Yep, April 4th. So um, I'm turning 30, which is crazy, but I decided that since we're in quarantine for my birthday and can't really celebrate with anyone, I'm gonna be 29 again, and then I'll turn 30 next year. We got a couple things on the agenda today. You have anything to say? Nothing, nothing to say. So current events, just a couple things going on in the world right now. Anyone? Anything anyone's talking about is coronavirus. You go to the store, you go anywhere, everyone's wearing masks now. They said we could wear masks. New, new thing, I think they just made enough masks to let us wear them, so it's probably why. There's not much new except people are getting more fearful because young people are dying, old people are dying, everyone's dying according to the news. But the sure way of not getting it unless you're a healthcare worker or essential employee uh, stay inside. It's not that hard. You're not going to get it. If you stay in your house, you're not going to get it. Bottom line, get your groceries delivered, people. Stop going out. It will end it sooner. It will be gold. So that's first. Second, good freaking news. Good news. I should have a thing that says good news. Or you could put it on the screen. Good news. Connecticut passed a law that alcohol can now be delivered. Someone's at the door, Murphy. Who's at the door? You want to get it? I'll get it. Look at what we got here. Got an alcohol delivery, I guess, from Busy Seltzer, antioxidant vitamin C seltzer. So basically healthy seltzer. So we got our first ad read. In these uncertain times, I often find myself kicking back and having a cold one. And by cold one, I mean a Busy. This new hard seltzer gives you the best of both worlds, whether you're trying to get your buzz on or kick that cold. Busy combines liquor with vitamins and antioxidants for the ultimate quarantine bath. In select stores across the country with flavors including mango, pineapple, strawberry, kiwi, and my favorite, there it is, blueberry pomegranate. Never too early. What's better than vitamins? Busy. So, uh, good if you ever want to. What's funny? I've been drinking a hundred, like a thousand, I don't know. What's the big, what's the packs of emergency? I'm, I probably don't need any more of these. Just drink one of these a day. And we're not sponsored, I'm kidding. <laughs> Brian's dad gave us a pack to try. Pretty good. It's noon, okay? Uh, another, <laughs> don't judge. Uh, another good story I found in the news, if you're a tell Taylor Swift fan, Murphy's a Taylor Swift fan, her favorite song is Mean by Taylor Swift. She kind of goes crazy. She has the inner walker going, ah, when Mean comes on, so we're big Taylor fans, right? Anyway, so Taylor donated $3,000 to a Connecticut resident. The resident is a blogger and she blogs about Taylor. She's been blogging since day one. Um, and Taylor saw that she had lost both her jobs and donated her 3K. Pretty nice. Nice things happening. So like I said, this is episode two, episode one. We did favorite quarantine food. This is gonna be quarantine essentials. So mine is coffee in the morning, pizza, frozen pizza, any type of pizza. I think we eat pizza every day. Wine, I've changed into a wino. Um, are we gonna put the trying of empathy wines on this? Yeah, let's run it, segment. We're gonna run to the segment really quick. Are we ready? Wine review time. So I'll go a little background first. We love Gary Vee, wanted to try his wine. Now we're quarantined, wanted to get delivered because it was before Connecticut had delivery of wines. Got Empathy Wine, Empathy Red Wine, really good. Trying it against my other favorite red wine. All right, so one of these is called Juggernaut, which I love the wine. This is like my favorite. I don't drink a ton of wine, so you can't go off of me really, but love the bottle. Well, it's a hefty bottle, like heavy. It's a $20 bottle at the package store, sometimes 24. So very comparable to this wine. Has a good hole in the bottom. So my mom says it's always good if there's a big hole in the bottom of the bottle. So this is Gary Vee's wine, his company, Empathy Wines. Love the logo, love the shape of the bottle. 
big hole. Big uh, hole. Big Biggest hole. I've ever seen. Very big. Show them what they mean by hole. This. Like how deep it is. How deep. Is it filming me? You're still on, yeah. All right. So I don't know which is which. Brian poured. They both look very similar in the glass. I will say this one on this side has legs. Definitely has more legs than the left one. What is legs? So legs is when it goes, you can see the drips here go down. Okay. This one doesn't have that. First one was open for what, three days now? Yep, factor that in. Good, cleanse my palate in between. It's not gonna be like one's terrible and one's good, like that's what I'm saying, but. Yeah, they're both good bottles of wine. Oh um, no, this is this is my normal line. Let me try one and one and one, and I'll tell you which one's better. I'm thinking this is the one I drink all, my, the one we usually drink. Okay, one more try. One bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> one sip. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time though. I'm saying the big, I'm saying the big glass is smoother and better. I think this is empathy wines. Winner. I won. Yep. Empathy Wines is better than that one I drank. Wow. Empathy Wines though is a red blend where that is a cab sav. I don't know if that's a difference. I'm not a red, I'm not a red person, so I don't know. I'll probably order a 12 pack next time. This is a Mardi Gras. Six sips in. Yeah, see, maybe you should poop if I put it in this. Okay, bye guys, good episode. Quarantine Essentials. Um, so those are my three, coffee, pizza, wine. Also like, exercising uh because i eat like crap so peloton is on my essential i'm very grateful that my peloton and then non-rainy days are essential during the quarantine because we got to get on walks right and when it's raining we can't go on walks we're trapped in here it's mayhem and murphy goes nuts and she has no way to release her energy and fall asleep she falls asleep on walks her and rory love walks so non-rainy days we need those um, so that was my quarantine essentials. Murphy quarantine essentials. What are they? <laughs> yeah, those are yours. I like them. All right, give me the next segment. Yeah, I got in the news. All right, or we could do if, since Murph kind of wants to do her segment, we could do uh, Murph's minute. Okay, Murph's minute. Go ahead. Murph's minute this week is Murph trying to drink milk. She's bored of that. <laughs> yeah! All right, this segment's called In the News. couple news articles that we'll go through. Go ahead. This kind of picks up on last week's episode when we talked about toilet paper. But according to a new article and toilet paper CEOs, they have actually uh, not only attributed the toilet paper shortage to consumer hoarding, but actually more going at home. 75% of people go at work and now need to do their business outside of the office, leading to more consumption at home. What do you think about that? Okay, companies must buy toilet paper from companies, right? Like, There's a at home and there's the you get, like, business side. Because businesses get the shitty toilet paper that scratches your butt pretty much. Yeah. Well, I, I like that news. It helps me a lot to understand why there's such a huge shortage. So I'm glad you told me that. I don't have a really a major comment about it. Uh, Tiger King. Oh God. Sweeping the nation. You got have any thoughts? That show is crazy. I had a hard time following it. I think because everyone is there's just everyone has their own thing going on, and they're nuts. He was quoted saying that I wish I could be out there to see myself being famous. Because <laughs> he's in jail right yeah, now. Yeah, this is like his freaking dream. Yeah. Um. That's cool. I, I feel bad for the guy being in jail for trying to kill someone and not getting to see his fame. He's huge now, Murphy. The Tiger King. The Tiger King. So you feel bad for a guy who tried to commit No, murder. I don't feel bad for him. He's a nut job, that guy. Stay in prison. 
better for the world. Carol Baskin should join him. She seems not to. Last one. <laughs> Quarantine sports edition. Yeah. The final four is this weekend. Go so UConn! Huskies! How has your life been affected with no sports? I think my life's been better without sports. Jesus. Don't have to listen to baseball season spring opening. I can't stand when baseball starts. It's it's so annoying because everyone acts like it's so important when baseball starts. The season is seven years long. The first month doesn't matter for shit. And everyone's like, oh, Yankees won. Yankees won. Oh, Red Sox lost. It doesn't matter. I hate the beginning. So I'm not missing baseball at all. How about the final four though? March Madness, final I, four. Those are some great memories. Yeah, but I, the memories- Everybody gets so energized around that time. Yeah, but the memories for me are because we go to Vermont to watch it. It's not really about the final four for me. I like it, but- You don't miss it. It's not like I'm- You don't feel like you've missed something this year. No, except for my birthday. Oh, my birthday sad. party. I don't, get, I don't get a birthday party! I don't have balloons! I don't have makeup before this. I want a makeup crew to do my makeup before the show. Murphy does too. She had to wear pajamas today because no one was here to get her ready. Right? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! You dropped your water? Here, I'll help you. All right, um, so I think that's what, all we had on the list. Closing remarks, anything for you? Sick of your bullshit. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, I appreciate that. So besides that, we're gonna head out. I hope you guys stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. We're here for you guys. If you need anything, reach out to the TPP, the PAL people. Subscribe to our channel. We're gonna come out with a video a week, probably, of the Tor and Murph show. If you have any requests, let us know. That's pretty much it. Hasta la vista, baby. Love you. Thanks for the support. You want them to support you. <laughs> here, let's get you out. You can stand on, say goodbye out here. They gotta see him too. Bye. Say bye. She's a big girl. Bye. Are we ready? That was almost a wave. Guys, let us know if you like to do that up. We're out.